Hey guys, Solution here with Fish Mafia. As you can tell, I have recently changed my uh, page to Luciano's Fish Mafia. That's just my Italian given name. Um, I just thought it would be easier to search and I thought it sounded cooler. But uh, anyway, uh, today we're going to be talking about a uh, another egg extraction. I'm calling it the trifecta because I was able to get three different species of fish to breed some of which already had breeding um, as you guys know who've watched my other videos um, it's already had some uh, the uh, red neon rainbow fish or the pseudo moogle luminatus I've also had a clown Kelly fish which are still breeding as well and recently the newest latest fish I just uh, was able to get to spawn and um, I do have a few babies um, I may try to get some video b-roll or just some shots of those um, it may be very difficult because they're still very tiny they have just now become free swimming so um, we'll talk about that here in a little bit but um, but yeah so I basically got all three of those um, I'm going to show you some of the eggs I extracted um, might be difficult to tell but um, I did was able to um, kind of centralize the eggs and show the difference little bit of a difference it's going to be hard to tell between the uh, clown killie fish and um, the CPDs or celestial pearl danios that is um, because they're both a clear color and they are very close in size so I might be able to get that on the camera um, then again you know I am using my uh, cell phone camera to shoot this so um, you know there's no micro lens or macro lens or whatever some of the um, the people have the more uh, nicer setups that can get in really close and zoom in on stuff like that but I'm gonna do my best to get you guys a shot of that um, so yeah so uh, I'll show you some of the things um, I've done uh, just a little bit of a different uh, setup for the CPDs which I will show you guys too where it's just a couple of deli cups one I kinda DIY cut the bottom out and um, hot glued um, some uh, some mesh that um, I just had laying around from when I ordered some uh, some moss um, a while back and I was able to you know peel the moss off from the uh, I think it's a little stainless steel um, mesh grade type of thing so I just uh, cut a circle around the bottom of one of the deli cups and kind of did a little double stack and, um, you know, you guys can get those at any grocery store where, you know, that serves, you know, sides or has like salad bars or hot food and all that stuff. Um, they have different sizes, so it's real easy to choose. And um, anyway, um, so uh, just uh, some things I was going to show you on top of uh, some of the things you might have already seen in some of my other videos um, and give you just some couple of tips or a tip or two that I learned um, just watching some other videos also so um, we'll uh, we'll check that out here and uh, let's uh, let's take a look okay so uh, here's a shot of what I collected from the uh, spawning mop of which I have over here and the uh, container which I had the CPD egg, CPD eggs in um, some of them are already starting to hatch, but I pulled six out, two of each one. This one here and this one here that have the more deeper yellow are um, the uh, Pseudomuga luminatus or red neon rainbow fish. Over here, this one and this one here, you can almost see a little line in them. And that's the fish developing inside of them, which only takes about three days three to four tops so these guys are already I can tell they're developing in there so these are the CPDs that are going to be hatching soon and these over here especially this one because this one's more fresh because it absorbed more of the color of the uh, Riddick Plus that I put in there that um, has the methylene blue in it so that's why that one's probably a little more blue because it's, it's just now uh, recently hatched and this one's kind of got a light uh, cream or slight yellow in it these are probably the clownfish eggs here um, just knowing because of development they take longer 
they can take like a week to 10 days so um this one here and this one here so there's six that i got uh right now and there's probably a couple more around um the edges on the inside here but i try to pull these out here in the central area these six just so i could show you guys a shot of the difference and as you can see if um Hopefully the camera shot's showing, uh, it's probably going to be hard to decipher the size, but just showing you how close the size is. I do think the clown killifish eggs are. At any rate, um, that's just to show you guys what, you know, you can kind of look for um, when you're pulling them. Um, but like I said, this is kind of a second go around from uh, an older video I did. I kind of wanted to get a better close up of the actual... Um, eggs again um, and like I said this is the trifecta because like I said I have a mix of red neon rainbow fish clown killifish and the celestial pearl danios so um, so there you go um, and uh, we'll uh, switch back here to the other angle okay so this is my 10 gallon uh, breeder as you can see there's some uh, some rainbows there's the uh, CPDs. Um, I have a trio of uh, sorts in here. Actually, you know what? I think I have more than a trio. I think I actually, in, um, I think I have five in here. I think I have three females to one male. Um, but see, right there in the back, that's where the breeder container is set up. Um, and I'll get you guys a shot after I do that. And um, also there in the background, I do have some, those are actually live bears. I have some of uh, the Limia uh, Tridens, or I think they're also called Tiburon Limia. Um, and I kind of got away from uh, live bears uh, for quite a while, but these guys have a very striking color on them. Um, they have a real uh, pretty blue, like uh, metallic spangling striping um on their sides just real pretty and um you know just as pretty here as this clown killifish i'm getting a halfway decent shot of um and yeah i mean i'm trying to hopefully bring these back to my local fish store get people more interested in them they're beautiful they're not super expensive and they're pretty i would say they're pretty easy to breed once you get the uh the good male to female or I would say female to male right I, you want obviously you always want more females than you do males sometimes it doesn't work that way um, I tend to have trouble like seems like the females uh, seem to pass quicker than the males do but anyway there's a shot of my uh, clown killie um, and there in the back just passing by are the uh, neon red rainbows pseudomoog illuminatus so yeah I have these all in a 10 gallon together um and seems to be working i'm getting like I said all three of them are are dropping eggs and i'm just trying to keep up with it um i do not um just a kind of a bit a little bit of advice you don't have to check them daily some people do i mean if you want to that's totally up to you if you have the time to do it but um you know things are tough right now with covid and everything else going on so i've been kind of checking them every like three or four days um, chances are pretty good that you know once at least the neons lay eggs in the uh, spawning mop um, it's really hard for them to kind of root through it and pick eggs off of the um, spawning mop as it is you know if they're just laying them and throwing them you know all over the gravel or whatever they can just pick them off it does kind of give them a little bit of protection I also have this uh, pilo moss that is starting to go crazy I do have that in there as a backup and I'm just having that there like if they lay eggs in it um you know they may they'll probably hatch out and be fine cuz they'll use that for cover so whatever happens in here you know I'm hoping they'll I'll just get some uh some additional surprises on top of what I am trying to stay on top of and do my own um incubating of the eggs and hopefully getting them to hatch out for me um with my other means i did have a kind of change of heart or change of ideas here i'm going to try and um 
and put these in my little grow out which I already have um, a few of the uh, CPDs in there along with um, some uh, bristlenose placos that I crossbred um, with a red uh, or sorry a super red uh, female with a male albino just to see what would come out of that so I'm kind of anxious to see right now they look really pretty and they have some really crazy uh, I don't know if you call it ornate pattern and lining in them and I was even seeing some little like kind of splotches of like a pinkish red coloration and I don't know if that's just uh, their you know internal organs or if that's actually you know coloration or pigmentation of the skin or scales on them but um, anyway I'm gonna turn here for a shot of that also okay so here's a little this is actually a three and a half gallon so I'm just gonna take the eggs and um, they've been sitting for a pretty good little while in this cup I usually like to let them sit for you know maybe 10 minutes just so that I know that they're getting coated with the methylene blue um, of the drop that I put in there um, which hopefully should give them some good coverage and I think as long as you have some pretty decent movement I mean I have this is a three and a half gallon with a uh, sponge filter on it um, so I'm hoping there will be enough movement in here um, so I'm gonna dump them kinda near where the actual sponges are because I know that the flow is gonna go is pull through those sponges so I'm gonna kinda dump them maybe either on the sponge or towards the back where I know there is like you know some good at least halfway decent circulation thank you again and uh, thanks to all those like LRB Aquatics uh, Rachel O'Leary Aquarium Co-op um, Eric Bodrock for putting that info out there um, I know I'm leaving out some people but um, uh, Primetime Aquatics and uh, KG Tropicals they put some good content out there too um, I'm going to dump this in there first. That's it. I was going to try to get you guys a shot of the... Uh... Oh, there's one right there. There's a baby right by the heater going towards the sponge to the... From... Throw up now he's going back to the heater. He's just darting. That's one right there. That is a baby. Oh, and there's one on the other side, and he's just going towards the other one. Oh, they're going to meet up with each other and say hi. Yep, there's two right there. See how small they are? But you can definitely see him darting around. There are more of these. Uh, one of the weird things about these guys that they do is... Um, right after they hatch they like to hang on the glass kind of like um gobies do um and like you know pandagars and of course you know um placos um and they just sit there and hang and then um after a few days um they will become free swimming at that point um it's time to start feeding fairly vigorously um but you know, you can only feed them, you know, fry food like the Hikari first bites is what I've been using. Um, I am maybe going to try some other brands too, but um, I have found that um, some of these other brands, like uh, I did try some Northfin, um, that's been really good for Placos. They love that stuff. And the Fluval um, Placo food, um, that's really good. Placo seem to like that but um all right so this is what i got going on here so yeah so i got uh this is actually my i kind of had to spread out my uh super red breeding and um to kind of spread it out within the tanks and uh um so i've got a mix of super reds and um some of the other um projects um that I had with the female 
bristle nose and the regular albino bristle nose which was a male so I had offspring from that and those guys are kind of darting around in here too and there's a couple right there and just see the looks like they almost have orange eyeballs which is really cool up oh, he just got scared he saw me ducked under the rock but yeah I mean these guys are real pretty I'm kind of interested to see you know hopefully maybe I got like a real special breed that you know might entail some some better better price point when I do sell them but yeah see it looks like they got orange eyes I'm just like I said I'm wait until they get like double that size and I apologize I might not be as on par as I normally am with uh, I try to use a good terminology just sometimes it doesn't come to mind so as for that I'm gonna try to work on it it's difficult um, see I can't props to all those that have been doing it and can do it real smoothly and just put uh, just great content out there um, I know after time I'll get better with it uh, the important thing I'm trying to put out there is content and um, for those hobbyists out there that are trying to breed or keep fish um, and just get a nice wide variety of uh, fish life um, just kind of see the kind of things that I got going on right now and it works thanks you guys uh, like I said for all those who've already viewed my channel and um, like I said I can always use more so uh, thank you and uh, we'll see you on the next one